Good evening, everyone. It's wine o'clock again here at the Wine Man's. Tonight's wine is from Doña Paula in Argentina. This is their 1100 blend in the Altitude series. In this video, I'm going to tell you why this is called the 1100, tell you a little bit more about Doña Paula as well, and we're going to taste this wine, and I'm going to tell you how amazing it is, because I know, because I've had the previous vintages. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the 2017 vintage is actually like. So let's start with Doña Paula. They've been going since 19. 1997 in Argentina and they're a very very good sustainable winery who are certified for their sustainability now they own all of their vineyards this is very important because it means they keep the finger on the pulse for all 700 hectares that they own cultivate and look after and this is in all different areas of the Argentine growing area this particular one it's from the Uco Valley and it's a blend of three different grape varieties so you've got Cabernet Sauvignon you've got um Malbec and you've got Syrah and those are the three grapes that are put together in different variations and I'll, I'll tell you about those as well and it's called 1100 because the average altitude of those three particular growing areas sorry those particular grape varieties that come from one specific growing area is 1100 meters above sea level that's very important because not an awful lot can get up there certainly no machinery so everything has to be hand harvested which means that the quality is truly outstanding now the next most important thing is the soil so they had all sorts of problems in 2015 and 2016 with really, really bad spring frosts, which meant that 2017, whilst it was better, meant that the volume of wine and fruit produced was much, much smaller, but the concentration and the quality level was much, much higher. So 2017 is going to be remembered for quite a while for how good the actual wine is. Now the soil itself, just while I open this, I'll tell you a little bit about the soil because it's, it's quite interesting because... In the different vineyards, um, in the Los Indios vineyard, which this particular one is from, oh, throw my corkscrew everywhere, uh, in the Uco Valley, it has a particular soil, which is known as Black Caliche, which is, it's basically really, really, really stony and really interesting in terms of the actual color, but also all these pebbles and it's calcium carbonate, which is actually known locally as the black caliche as I mentioned so you've got these three different varietals that are blended together so you've got 60% Malbec 30% Syrah and then 10% Cabernet Sauvignon and then they are vinified separately and then they're blended together and then they're then allowed to mature in oak casks for 12 months so and then they actually take another percentage of them and stick them in another set of oak casks for I think it's 16 months so it's, it's a hell of a long time in oak so you've got violets and you've got you've, you've, the typical blackcurrant characteristics that you would expect. But it's, it's got a little, it's a very subtle spiciness. Mmm. Okay. So instantly, tannins are there. You would expect them. Cabernet gives it a lot of structure a lot of character, a lot of backbone, but it's only a slight bit because the spice from the Syrah and the violets from the Malbec, they kick in straight away. And they all three of them combine beautifully to produce quite a fabulous wine. Now, it's gonna be great with Argentinian steak. It's gonna be great. I mean, I'm drinking it on its own tonight. I think it's gonna be lovely, but you have to like a big bold wine, but it's not so muscular that you can't enjoy it. It's got that love. I mean, the Syrah is just kicking in now. The Malbec, still the depth of flavour is remarkable. I mean, it's, it's got massive structure. It's very complex. It, this is going to appeal if you like Bordeaux or if you like rich, intense wines, this will appeal to you. I'm going to highly recommend this. This is the Doña Paula 1100 Altitude Series 2017. Cheers.